Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today it's new beauty in Australia. It's been a while since I've done this. Basically finding time to do this because this is a long, this is a long one to film. We love it. We're not complaining, but I need time is required. Just got my hair did looking so silky fresh. There is nothing better than a hairdresser blowout. I'm telling you what, it cannot be mimicked. If you are new here, hi, I'm Sam. I make a lot of Australian content because it's nowhere to be found. It's few and far between. And I like to talk about what's new in Australian beauty. So we have a look at the websites together. We have a little chitty chat and I'll show the picture. Skincare, fragrance, makeup. I love fragrance, so I always trickle that in there. And we just kind of have a yarn about what's already out there at like Priceline, Mecca, Sephora. And then we have a look at Trend Mood and we kind of discuss what we think we might get. And I just filter through the brands that we don't get and just talk about, about the brands that we do get. I just want to mention, as I'm filming this, I'm going to hopefully get it up while the sales are still on. There's a lot of click frenzy sales. Sephora is having a 20% off sale. Glam Red is having 15% off. And Adore Beauty is having up to 50% off. I'm going to have their links down below. Um, if you shop Sephora or Adore Beauty, I would so appreciate if you use my link affiliated so I get a little commission. It kind of just helps me a little bit on my channel. Not a lot. It's not a lot, but every, every cent counts. So you absolutely do not have to, but if you would like to support my channel that way, you're not paying any more money, but it just gives me a little commission. And even when there's not a sale, using those links helps me. <laughs> and I know some of you too, and I really appreciate it. Okay, let's have a look at Priceline. As we know, their website has changed, so I might be a little bit slow, but we're gonna go skincare, fragrance, makeup in their different categories, because they don't have like an, a new category for like everything. So we're gonna go in by category. The other thing is I don't always know if it actually is new with Priceline, cause yeah, it's a bit confusing. So I'm just gonna have a guess. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But if I don't recognize something, I'm assuming it's new because I do stay pretty current at checking things out. So um, Essence, we don't get a lot of Essence. Do you find that every time you walk into a Priceline, Essence is fully out of stock? I just think they're not keeping up with the demand. I don't think, and often Australia is at the bottom of the priority list because we're expensive to ship to and we have a small population. It looks like we've got a couple new products. We have the Hello Essence Hello Good Stuff Skin Clearing System. Oh, it's more skincare. And then also the Pore Minimizing Serum for $9 each. I don't know if I would try their skincare. Oh, I'm in the skin skincare section, obviously. Um, and then we also have the Essence Hydro Hero Under Eye Stick. That is already out of stock, $7. I'm sure it's just like a hydrating, hydrating under eye, which is great. For seven dollars, a lot of us have dry under eyes. Essence have a whole bunch of stuff. They've got a lip plumper, a face oil, and a deep puff eye serum. That's seven dollars. The deep puff eye serum, hydro gel eye patches for four dollars each. They've got a few good things. This collagen sleep mask. I actually don't know how it performs. I gave it to my mum. She wanted to use it. This is from Elias Skin, the Pink Marine Collagen Sleep Mask for $49.99. $49 it's really nice. It's like a pink, it looks like a pink moisturizer. It looks really hydrating. It actually looks really good, but I just know my mom would really, really enjoy this. So I gave it to her. I got it at the Priceline event, but it definitely intrigued me. It's definitely something that I would try. Maybe if I visit her, I can give it a try. Revolution Rehab Under Eye Cream. I know they had a serum. Was it a serum? or the blurring under eye. They had something already, but I think this is new, $16. And then they also have the matte touch-up oil control roller, $12. I wonder if that's like the uh, volcanic, volcanic rock one that Revlon had. Oh, it is volcanic stone. It's the same thing. There you go. Also say that the skincare gift bag is out of stock. It's sold out. Not surprised. It looked like a really good one. The Ordinary, I don't know if this is new, but I've not heard of it. The Argiri line, oh my Lord, how do I say that? A non-injective solution for dynamic lines. Oh, Argaya line, Argaya line solution, 10%. That actually sounds pretty good. And then I actually got this. This is, I got uh, the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Clinical 12% Vitamin C Serum. 
I'm quite intrigued by this. It's $60. It's got vitamin E and salicylic acid, and I'm really down for that because it's going to brighten not just from the vitamin C, but removing the dead skin, so that instantly makes you look brighter as well. I like the combo. It's not just vitamin C, and then it's gonna be hydrating at the same time. I don't know with fragrance, man. I don't know what's new. I really don't, so I think I might just leave it for now. Oh, I really wanna get this. I'm thinking of going to the shops. This Superstay Skin Tint, but I can't see it on their website. They're advertising it on their website, but then they're not selling it on the website. So do I go in store and buy it? I'm not really sure what's going on there, and it says it's half price. So my local price line is closed, so for me to go another one, I have to go to like a Westfield. But this, is a 24 hour skin tint with vitamin C, I think. It's hard to know because I can't actually click on it, but it's currently half price. So it was 40, my Belaine. Now 20, I'm like even 20 bucks. It's expensive. It's drugstore guys, come on. Just cause you've thrown a bit of vitamin C in it doesn't mean you could charge us 40 bucks. So yes, I had someone message me asking for a review of it and I thought, hmm, it might be good. It might be good to review. So let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, but by the time this is up, I've probably, maybe, most definitely bought it. <laughs> the Maybelline Lash Sensational High Sky High Mascara Tinted Primer is half price because of Maybelline is half price. Was 26, now 13. Anyway, let's go over to Sephora. I know they've got some new stuff and they have a 20% sale. I just actually bought from Cult Beauty. They had 25% off. And I finally bought the um, Huda Beauty, the cherry blossom powder that keeps selling out on the Sephora website. And I got it cheaper. So, and I bought a Charlotte Tilbury matte blush blush, you know, the new ones. Very excited about that. So, uh, stay tuned for that. So I won't be like, buying anything from this sale because I got what I wanted from Cult Beauty. One thing I am keen on though is the new Natasha Denona concealer. So they've got the correcting concealer and then the regular concealer. It's called the High Glam. And let's have a little look. The reviews have been pretty good. People have been saying it's pretty damn good. I saw Wayne Goss being like, this is the best concealer ever. Although he can be a bit sensationalized, can't he? There's a lot of colors. I've never tried complexion products from Natasha Denona, so it is 50 bucks though, so, although that makes it 40 bucks, doesn't it? No, I just bought, I've just bought stuff. I'm not gonna buy it right now. Long lasting creaseless concealer with a natural medium buildable coverage luminous matte finish. That's what I like. Made with biomimetic bio pigments and texture perfecting micro spheres for flawless airbrush results with a weightless look natural look and supremely flexible feel sounds bloody good not gonna lie but i've just bought so many concealers if you've been watching my other videos you know i've got a ton of concealers oh the new pat mcgrath is it new though <laughs> celestial nirvana eyeshadow palette is now available okay sephora has all this like skincare and makeup launching this is what i'm interested in 25 dollars for the smooth and blur primer I'm really intrigued by it and I wonder if it's comparable to my Laura Mercier blurring. First ingredient, dimethicone, which is expected. Oh, there is silicon. I reckon it's going to be like the Smashbox one because the Laura Mercier one is silicon free. Oh, Pat McGrath. Is this not from a long time ago? The Blush and Glow Cheek Palette. I have a trio with two blushes and a highlighter and I love it. Um, and it's from the Celestial Odyssey Christmas collection two years ago. And I really like that. And then we also have, is this not, is this not the Christmas collection? Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette, $132. Okay, I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Those are the palettes that come out at Christmas time. Huda Beauty Lip Blush Creamy Lip and Cheek Stain in five different colors. I'll probably pass on that. I don't mind a lip and cheek stain, but I prefer a lip and cheek tint. Looks like Cinema Secrets have come to 
Sephora, which is pretty cool. Burberry has a deodorant stick for $50. Wow. Tiffany & Co has a hand cream. What's going on Sephora, you bougie? $63 for Tiffany & Co rose gold hand cream. That's a bit fancy. I feel like I'm looking a little washed out. I'm gonna put a little lip on. Gosh, that smells good. Smells like an iced coffee. It just felt like I looked a little washed out. Um, when you put the camera on, it does tend to wash you out. I've got very natural makeup on, but with the camera and the light, it did wash me out. So a little bit of color. Nice. I'm wearing the NYX Smooth Whip in Latte Foam. I love it. Gucci Beauty has a eyeshadow or multi-use quad palette. What does that even mean? There's three different shades. Is it cream? Eyes and lips. Multiple textures and finishes for any mood and every look. I don't know. I think the only thing that's ever interested me from Gucci Beauty is the bronzer. Oh, and the lipsticks. They've got good lipsticks. I actually own one lipstick. I don't own anything else Gucci though. But the eyeshadows never really spoke to me. I think the price is extreme. Only people that can charge that price is Natasha in my eyes because her formula is supreme. Otherwise, everyone else, no. Oh my God, yes, Pixie. The whole thing is sold out online, but I'm gonna show you anyway. You know how I love the On The Glow blush sticks? I bought mine directly from the Pixie website because we couldn't get it in Australia. Now Sephora has it all, like a year later. It's got to be like a year. <laughs> and they've also got the On The Girl bronze all out of stock. The blushes are all out of stock. They're only $28. I had all three and then I donated the orange one, Juicy, because I have lots of orange. And Ruby's my favorite. It's like a reddy pink. They're really sheer, which is why they're really nice. They're super sheer and glowy. Uh, I really like to wear it for every day where I'm not wearing powder or just a tinted moisturizer. And then I pop a little bit of those on. Oh, so pretty. But they are all sold out. Um, maybe in store. I don't know if they're going in store, but they're all equally as nice. It just depends on what shades you like. But I highly recommend those. But everything Pixie is completely sold out. It's been so long since we've had Pixie makeup in Australia. I think it used to be at Maya and then they pulled out um, the, yeah, I was tempted to get the glowy powder. That's also sold out. Anyway, let's have a look at Mecca. Now they had a drop about two weeks ago. Okay, GoTo has a new Very Luxe face cream. I believe it just has more anti-aging properties for $79, which is not excessively more. I think the other cream is like 70, the big size or 60-ish. I can't remember. So it's not too much more. It's got like chrome packaging. Um, and for memory, it's got like collagen and peptides. Uh, whereas the other one is just hydrating. Sol de Janeiro have the Rio Radiance Perfume Mist for, oh, this one's the mini. But the mini is 38 and the full size is 61. I quite liked this one. It's not as caramelly, like you know how the other ones are very gourmand. This one is tuberose and beach. So it smells like sand and salt water and tubero tu tuberose. Tuberose. But it does dry down heavy on the tuberose, which is not my favorite. If it dried down more on the beachy side, I think I'd like it a bit more. But if you're a tuberose fan, I think you'd really like it. It's quite nice. I'm not talking about absolutely everything because Mecca drops a lot of stuff. The Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation, $76. I, in my most recent, I will leave a card. If you want to watch, I did like full face of faves and new makeup. And I got a little tester of this foundation. In love. I want to buy it, which is really annoying that I want to buy it because I don't need another foundation. The thought of not having it in my life actually makes me kind of upset. So I'm going to think on it. <laughs> I'm in no rush because I have the tester still. I think I've probably got one more use left, but it's exceptional. If you like long wear, but you have, uh, it'd be suitable for dry, medium, uh, normal and oily skin, honestly because I could powder it down and it looked beautiful, but it's the it's the long wear that I love the most. I needed the littlest amount to cover my whole face and it, my skin looked perfect. So 
I don't want to buy that. <laughs> Someone make me a millionaire. Another thing that I'm really intrigued by is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper Plumping Lip Liner. Apparently it's got capsicum in it, so it apparently just burns your lips. But so does the lip injection. So it's just going to be that. But I kind of want to try that. Like plumping, I like, but I don't want it to like blur my lip line. I don't want it to mess up any lip products that I have. I might even try it at work. I might go into work tomorrow. I work at Mecca, by the way, if you don't know. I'll go in with no lip on and I might try the lip liner and see what it's like. And then I can tell you guys what it's like because I'm just so curious about it. I'm also very curious about Hair by Sam McKnight, who is a celebrity hairstylist, I believe. This Perfect Mess Matte Sculpting Clay, I'm curious about for if I want like a really slicked down ponytail or bun and I don't want shiny hair. I would like it to be like matte. I'm intrigued by this too. <laughs> I don't sell this brand at my work though, just like a couple of the travel size stuff. I would really like to try that because I don't know if I'd want to commit $51 to something I'm not really that sure about with hair. I find it, I don't know. I find a lot of it doesn't work. So there's no reviews, but I am very interested in it. We got the new spring collection from Shantakai. Good Lord. $83 for this lip chic. But I tell you what, their lip chic lipstick formula is 10 out of 10. But the sheer lipstick range from Mecca Max, it's the same thing. It's the same thing and it's $20 versus $83. I'm just saying, maybe I should do a little TikTok on it, but they're basically the same different price like super hydrating sheer plumping blah, delicious the costas bronzers have more shades and new packaging i don't love the shades though so i've never bought it if i buy anything it would be that their face powder i'm so on the fence buying their face powder i'm i'm on i'm off i'm like sam you don't need another powder but then i'm like but you really want to try it oh melon and gets have a discovery set you've never been able to buy this before Malin and Getz is one of my favorite fragrance brands. If you like unisex smells that aren't feminine or masculine, they're just an interesting smell. You've got to try the Discovery set. It's the first time we've had it in Australia. $38 and you get to smell, smell their greatest hits like dark rum, leather, cannabis. Dark rum is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Bergamot is delish. Strawberry and vetiver. So vetiver and bergamot are their newest ones. Strawberry is like quite like milky, like the strawberries and cream, super light, love it. So if you've ever been curious, try out the Discovery set. Your girl bought the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. Um, I'll actually have that video linked down below because there's a couple of things that I bought that I used in that video. Um, this is the other one that I bought, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm in love with it. <laughs> I'm in love. It's like a matte, medium to full coverage, but not heavy matte. It's like a luminous matte. It's, it's beautiful. A replica or Mesa Magella have these new diffusers and they're absolutely beautiful looking. They have them in all the best sellers. So Lazy Sunday Morning, Beach Walk, uh, Much of Meditation, Jazz Club by the Fireplace. I want to say it's those five. Oh, Lazy Sunday Morning. So good. It smells really nice. I just think it looks really classy. If you're a neutrals person, even I would like this because this next to a bunch of flowers, oh, like the crisp white, so beautiful. So Glam Radar now have Elf, which is new for them. Uh, so that's a new brand that they've just taken on, which is pretty exciting. If you are someone that likes to shop at Glam Radar, support Australian um, retailers. Uh, you can get e.l.f. from there now and they currently have 15% off quite a lot of products uh, They've also got the Luna Beauty uh, Lip liner and lipstick collection. We'll, I'll double check but it looks like they're gonna be matte Word is out that 2016 makeup is coming back. I don't know if I believe it just yet I reckon give it another year and it might come back but uh, Gen Z they like their natural makeup Although what is her name? Meredith that uses like a whole bottle of foundation on her face. She's bringing back the full glam. She really is. I mean, I'm here for it. I I love I love a natural and I love a full glam. Whatever it is that you want to do, I think it looks great. 
these trends tend to just go right out the door because I wear makeup to my mood. All right, let's have a look at this lipstick. Oh, uh, matte and satin finish, full coverage formula. Yeah, I thought so. And then Adore Beauty has 20% off fragrance, up to 50% off makeup, I think 20% off skincare. Anyway, I made an order. You know, you're just like in the mood. You're in the mood to press buy. I've been in that mood, but I've stopped now. I'm not gonna buy anything else. I got the Who Is Elijah Discovery set. I've been so wanting to try it. So I got $10 off of that. And then I got one other thing. Oh, I got the mini of the Makeup Forever HD Skin, the new one. I was thinking of traveling with it uh, because I, nothing set in stone, so I'm not gonna say anything, but I might be traveling at the end of the year. And I thought that would be perfect because it'd be like good long wear um, for the whole day. And it's also a mini. So I bought that. It was like $24. Oh, the Ultraviolet Preen Screen. I'm pretty sure it's new. I don't know how new. But I'll show you anyway. It's the Reapplication Mist Sunscreen, 50 plus, $42. The new Dior Five Coolers Couture, $121. Very pretty, but I'm not a blue shadow wearer, so it's a no from me. Um, Bobbi Brown have beautiful eyeshadows. This is the All Nudes Eyeshadow Palette Smoky Nudes for $89. Our Beauty of Joseon is now at Adore Beauty 2, which is so good. I am currently using their Ginseng Essence, and I also have their Glowy Serum that I haven't used yet. I want to use it in winter when I'm a little bit drier. I've been waiting for winter to come to use that. But the whole brand is there now, which is so good. Let's go to Trend Mood. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Hool Benefit. I was going to say Hula. Benefit Cosmetics, it's now available in Europe. We might get it. We just don't know, do we? This is the Hula Secret Oasis Bronzer and Blush Duos. So there are four. Obviously you can tell what's for each skin tone by the bronzer. Oh, there's a new Gloss Bomb Heat in Glass Slipper. Good Lord, that looks delicious. This uh, Fenty's Gloss Bomb Formula is my favorite lip gloss formula of all time. <coughs> Clear Hybrid Lip Gloss and Plumper delivers fuller looking lips. Oh, is it just clear? Oh, then no, I won't get that. Reading trend mood comments is an activity in itself. People are too honest. This is interesting. James Charles, oh, who? We haven't heard of him in a while. Is bringing out his own beauty brand called Painted. Oh, he's five years too late, I think, on this one. No one wants to paint their face anymore. That used to be a whole thing where you did like full on art on your face. Mad respect, never been my thing. But that's what made him famous is doing like artistic things on his eyes and face. It's just not popular anymore. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the comments. Sephora colorful face powders, blush, bronze, highlight, and contour. So basically it looks like an extension and a repackage of their blushes, but they're saying some of them are bronzers and highlighters as well. I have one of their blushes and I really like it. I don't use it enough, I forget to use it. Giorgio Armani blushes look stunning. They've done a good job in the colors, I've gotta say. Uh, luminous Silk Glow, beautiful. Visibly smooth skin texture and delivers luminous yet natural looking flush of color. Tom Ford Liquid Lip Luxe Matte. See, the liquid lips are coming back, guys. I don't hate it. I like a matte lip. Like, it just means, for me, I like it because it means it stays all day and I don't have to, like, reapply. And I like that. Especially this NYX one because it's not dry. Like, there's movement. Yeah, but there's minimal transfer. Anyway, these look great. Melts luxuriously into lips with a cloud-like consistency. It's gonna be similar to this. And the colors look stunning. I'm not gonna lie. These Juvia's Place blushes, I so badly wanna try. You can order from Juvia's Place website. I think you just gotta pay a little bit of shipping. I've bought from Juvia's Place many times. I still, the eyeshadows are one of my favorites. I just think the colors are stunning. I'm really into it, but I only want the blushes. So if I made an order, it would just be the blushes. And then I know I'd be paying a lot in shipping. So I'm trying to resist, but I really want to try them. I actually think I might get the MP, formerly known as Models Prefer. They've got new liquid blushes that I want. See, that's what I know is new and it doesn't come up on the Priceline website. 
So I was thinking of maybe getting that in the Maybelline skin tint for my like new makeup try on video because they look like something I would really enjoy. The colors are really pretty too. YSL have eyeshadow quads. They look real pretty. Oh, Hourglass have a new ambient lighting palette in diffused rose. I wouldn't get this because I got the elephant palette at Christmas, love. Um, but this is really pretty. If you like the diffuse light, it looks like there's a highlighter. Yeah, finishing powder and blush. Gucci have a liquid highlighter. Probably would pass on this too. I'm not a huge liquid highlighter fan. What's this from NARS? Afterglow liquid blush. Oh, they look like they're gonna be very K-beauty style is my guess, like super sheer. Natural looking glow, skin for, skincare infused liquid blush. That looks pretty. Essence, we'd probably get this in a year. Honestly, Essence, is, Essence and Elf are really slow to Australia. But these are the Baby Got Bronze bronzing stick for five American dollars each. So we'll probably get charged like 10. I like the shades because they're contour. Oh no, it says bronze. They're different kind of shades, aren't they? I would be intrigued if they came to Australia because they look really small and I like that. There's a new Charlotte Tilbury uh, shade in the Matte Revolution lipstick called Coronation Red. Looks like a warm red. Oh, Cherry Blossom Lip Sleeping Mask from Laneige. <sighs> Looks like it was a limited edition that's come back. Nice. They're my favorite. I can, every night I put on the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love it. These are really look good. These are L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Blushes. Uh, did we get the bronzers? I can't remember. Anyway, here are the blushes. They're a soft matte blush, love that. The colors are beautiful. That coral shade, mm-hmm. I wonder how pigmented they are. They look pretty pigmented. L'Oreal have infallible Le Matte Resistance Liquid Lipstick. They are not in Australia yet, but they are powdery liquid matte that lasts up to 16 hours. See everything? All these liquid lipsticks are coming back. All day matte finish with a lightweight feel. Love that. Are they replacing their liquid lips? Their liquid lipstick formula is like my favorite formula, but is this replacing it or is it just an addition? I have questions. Oh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Liquid Glow Bronzer Drops, like the drunk elephant. Everyone's getting on board. Uh, SPF 15 Serum and Liquid Bronzer for a natural sun kiss look with a glowy finish. That sounds lovely. Lightweight serum texture seamlessly blends into the skin. Long lasting liquid bronzer can be used all over the face for an added warmth or in targeted areas to softly sculpt. Three shades. Fenty uh, limited edition products. I don't know if we'll even get this. Sometimes these products don't come to us, but sometimes they do. Match sticks, cheek and lip in strawberry pop. When I tell you I'm down for that, I'm so down for that. And then the other one is a oh, strawberry prop gel stick that gives you a rosy shade reacts to your skin's natural chemistry. Oh, I have to swatch that because then it's just going to be a bit like a cool tone pink. I don't like that. And then the hydrating lip stain in Gemini. Yeah, no, I changed my mind. I don't want that anymore. New shades of the Gen Nude Blonzer Blush and Bronzer. Kiss of Spice Warm Bronze Shade and Kiss of Mauve, a dusty mauve shade. Pretty. They look so pretty. I like those. Dior are extending their Backstage Rosy Glow Blush Shades. Here are two, but I think there's four new shades. Let me just, ah, yeah, there are four new shades. So the top one is the existing and then the bottom four are the new ones. And new shades of the Gucci Luminous Matte Beauty Blush. See, these look look real pretty too oh it's the era of blushes isn't it okay nas what have you got for me light reflecting under eye brightener oh i do really want to get their soft matte concealer if i ever left mecca that'd be one of the things that i buy oh, amongst a hundred other things but we're not thinking about that because that's not happening urban decay i'm very confused by this so these are the hydromaniac blush glow hydrator blushes whatever liquid blushes they discontinued the Hydromaniac skin tint and now they're bringing this out. I can't do that. You've got to keep the foundation in. Yeah, not happy about that. Anyway, they look pretty, but I'm not impressed. Okay. I just found another photo of all the Dior blushes. Look at these. They actually look really good. Oh, I wish I didn't see that. That looks even better. Cherry. I want the cherry. All right. That's it. We're done. 
I'm tired. I need to go have a break. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your favorites of the day down in the comments. Let's have a little chitty chat. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.